morning world I got new glasses tell me what you think um, I know I'm starting this day off this video off light asking about my glasses smoking a cigarette having a cup of coffee on a Tuesday morning um, I got called off work again today um, so I'm gonna make the best of it yeah, got up early Made myself a cup of coffee. I couldn't find my cup, so I stole my wife's um, stitch cup. Anything that has to do with island culture, she loves. Uh, and that movie is uh, Ohana Family. So, yeah. Um, I watched this video last night. No, it wasn't even a video. It was a small clip. Um, about a minute long um, of a man probably my age um, a retired police officer and he shows this little clip of him standing next to this really short man this homeless man in the subway when he used to serve I mean when, when he was still an officer and uh, this was back in I think 2016 and this little man gave him the biggest piece of information he could have ever have been blessed with. And um, I would say not blessed with, but betrothed to, given to somebody to tell this man's story because he had nobody to tell it. He was gifted this last ditch effort to tell his story and hope that he mattered and I'm going to try not to get too overly emotional about this because it rings deep in my heart because I am also a veteran and this little man and little in size not in stature and he um, he was in the Vietnam War he was the shortest man ever to serve in the military forces and also become a Green Beret and also become an officer and then a captain of the Green Berets like his own team like that's amazing and you see all these pictures of his men holding him up on and this goes to my other I saw another video of him on the fuller story not the complete story but a fuller story of the giant killer and I don't know his name it's not really for me I know him not personally but I know him and I'm not saying that I lived his life, but um, he's a fellow brother and uh, military veteran. So <clears throat> I understand where he was coming from. So amazing, 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 amazing man who after he left Vietnam, came back to the United States and everything I can remember because my father went through the same thing that's why he never came back either and you hear that a lot sometimes sometimes we never come back from there not completely war that is and um, he fought a war one of the longest wars we've ever fought in American history and other than our freedoms and they didn't even they didn't even for the longest time call it a war they just called it the Vietnam conflict and what better way to call what we all know as war which they now call it a war I've always called it the Vietnam War was the starting part of the loss of God in America 
and uh, you may disagree with that, um, but for me, that's where it was for me, and I saw it everywhere, and I blame God a lot for that, but it wasn't God, it was us. Anyways, it's not about me, it's about us, and right now it's about him. So he served his country, got told he was bad, got spit on, got told he was a baby killer, and came back to the United States and never went home again. Stayed homeless up until 2016 when he finally befriended one single man, an officer of the law, the ones that we seem to hate nowadays. He befriended into him the short story of his life. And I say short story because they would have had to sit there for years. For a man like that to pour out his heart. But like everything else, I get the gist. And he got the gist. And I don't know if it took him to this long to post it on the internet. And I know there is a book about him. It's called The Giant Killer. And if you really cared. about veterans then take a look at all the stuff out there that's supposedly there to help veterans and then look at the back story of them and choose for yourself if you're really making a difference I'm calling everybody out if you're truly making a difference for the veterans And I'm going to quote a famous song by Billy Ray Cyrus. And I don't know if he read it or wrote it or not, but some gave all and all gave some. So how about all of us give some? But don't just blindly give your money, your time, your energy to charities that are out there to supposedly help them and the bigger they get the more money they make and the more people they have to hire and then it turns into more of a business and a, a need to stay open even knowing that there's a lot of us veterans out here that aren't doing so well but we don't have a missing leg we don't have any outwardly injuries. But what you used to be able to say is that that thousand mile stare, that Marine Corps, Vietnam, you kind of just are always looking out for something to kill you. <sighs> when you've gone through some shit like that. And... This man hoped that this police officer, and he did, and there was a book, but I haven't done my research on it. I don't really need to. I already respect the hell out of this man, and the rest of the stuff I'll learn out as I need to. But please go read it. Please. Please go watch the videos on YouTube. Because I don't know how long it was up for. For 324 likes. Is not the amount of people that are out there saying they're helping veterans. And that's myself included. But... I'm trying to help myself, and in doing so, 
it's making me realize all the all the non-help that's going on out there the false fronts and what I would like to say the false gods because there only is one God and his son gave all for your sins And this man gave all for his sins, but not in the war, in his mind, because he was scared. That's why he lived homeless. He was scared that he was better out in the open air where he could see and not trust anybody anymore and just take everything as something that's going to kill you and that is sad to me because he's not going to hell but that is life living hell when you're scared of everything and even though you have no control over it and you have anymore I have no idea why we don't see miracles anymore because they're everywhere just nobody's looking for them anymore they're looking for somebody to argue with they're looking for something to be right in they're looking for purpose when the purpose is just living a good life just living your life doing what you were meant to do so please go get some more likes go get something let's find out more about this man and remember him because I'm sorry to say but most of my kids don't ask me how it was to go to war and they don't ask me about specifics but they also don't ask me about the good shit the reason why I did what I did so I'm not calling anybody bad I'm not calling anybody good but let's remember this man and let's do better and uh, know that we are all his children and this is no way for a good man to die it's no any way for anybody to die So take something in your life and make that just a little bit better because I am a veteran so I'm trying to help myself love myself so I can help others so I can stop being so confused and I found that in the Lord so and I know I'm not pretty. So. Some gave all. And all. Let's give some. Kind of. Kind of quirky and. Goofy. But. You know. That's me. I take. I take things. And I make them. Something that needs to be said. And. They're not mine. But. I'm just glad that I can still remember them all and not all of them and the more I get older the, the less I remember because there's so much in there so whew. I'm gonna say what I need to say now and then say goodbye go 
remember this man. And it won't take long because you don't have to re remember his whole life. You don't have to know his whole life. But start out with the small stuff. And start out realizing there's a lot of us out here. And we haven't come back completely. We haven't come back. So may God bless us all. There's one love, there's one race, and that's the human race. For all you racists out there, our, our lives matter, period. Goodbye.